The jury has convicted Boston Marathon bomber Johar Sarnayev on all 30 counts for his connection in the bombing, which killed three and injured more than 260 others. Unlike the first phase, though, the penalty phase is a choice between life and death. I think you're going to see the defense in a totally different light. They're going to come out fighting this time, uh, and they're fighting for your car's life. Karen Pita Lohr, a professor of law at Boston University, believes that Sarnayev's defense team will continue to focus on the mitigating factors. And specifically what I mean by that is um, the really strong and controlling influence of your car's brother, Tamerlan. In addition to focusing on Tamerlan, the defense will focus on Yohar's young age. You heard the defense attorney refer to your car as a teenager, as a kid. That's definitely something that they're going to be focusing on. And with his young age comes a neurological element to the defense's approach. There's been a lot of studies about the adolescent brain um, and, the law, and the amount of time that it really takes to develop the adolescent brain. As both sides enter the second phase, many were surprised that the trial was put on hold for more than 10 days. And the reason for the gap in between the guilt and the penalty phase is because Judge O'Toole is allowing time for the defense to gather witnesses. The prosecution, however, is going to have a much more difficult task in the second phase. There's a certain list of aggravating factors, which they actually have to prove to the jury beyond a reasonable doubt. Those aggravating factors are extensive, to say the least, but among them are the heinous manner in which the crimes were committed, the substantial planning, and the vulnerability of the victims. Of the young boy that was killed, the fact that he was eight years old, that makes him a vulnerable victim. That is also an aggravating factor. The jury met with Judge O'Toole yesterday to go over information for the second phase. They were told to continue to avoid all media coverage of the trial, as well as this year's Boston Marathon. From Federal Court in Boston, I'm Paul Dudley.